Yay! Many fish. It's the 6th of April, 2018. This was just weird enough to share with you, okay? Going through the news, afternoon, winding down, the usual. This is Haritz, Haritz today. Just came out, look at that, in Israel, 11 9 9-11, right? But I see this, Gaza border riots resume. Six Palestinians said killed. 293 wounded by Israeli gunfire. 293. It just made me curious as to how they know that exact count, but nonetheless, I just see the 293, you know, the 911 all. But the six Palestinians, you know, it's 299 altogether, and I left my computer for to go do something. And I came back, and the page basically refreshed. And if you watch the page, this is essentially what it did. I sat down, and I clicked something, and it the article changed to this. See, I can click back and get that one again. Six Palestinians, and it changed right before my eyes to this. Seven. So it goes from six to seven killed, said killed, and still 293 wounded, right? Now it's 300. And the first thing that came to my mind, 300 foxes, Samson, Judges 15. Samson and the 300 foxes that he used to burn the Philistines' wheat fields and olive groves and everything else to the ground, okay? And the, the funny part about this, the crazy part about this, right? The Philistines, right? Everywhere you look where this event takes place here with Samson, right? It's like everywhere he goes, basically, see, like Lehi, a place in Palestine, the rock Edom a place in Palestine, right? They're all Palestine, everywhere this is all taking place. The Philistines. And where, where, what's going on right now? With the Palestinians. <laughs> right in, pretty much in the same place this is taking place today is where this took place like 3,000 plus years ago. A long time ago. Isn't that crazy? In the same place, and they're called Palestinians. That's just nuts. And all these places that Samson went here were in Palestine. <laughs> I just thought that was crazy enough to share. And, and because this changed. I mean, if it didn't change, it was just 299. But then it just, boom, turns to 300. Now, what that could mean, who knows, man. You, you can read the rest of Samson. You know, it's a pretty wild story, and there's a movie that just came out not too long ago about Samson. I don't know if it's any good, but still, I thought that was crazy. Not sure what it means, but, you know, why would that pop up like that? Now it's 11.22. Anyway, thought I'd show it. There was another one I wanted to show you, but this one here, I kind of... My spirit tells me it's kind of a serious thing, something worth probably a little more study as to what's going on in Israel, because that's important. This is not just going to end as some run-of-the-mill little riots and some tire burning and stuff. I, I firmly believe this is just a fuse, if you will, and who knows when that fuse reaches its end, but it's going to. So, you know, it's basically another warning, you know? 300 foxes burn down everything, right? So, that's that. And I had to show this other one to you because it's actually pretty funny, really, when you think about it. It's CNN, two goats make a huge mistake and get stranded on a bridge. Now, look at this, right? Okay, there's a little white goat and a little brown goat, right? And they walked out onto this beam. They had to walk out this way. But they're facing each other. And how this little brown little fella got turned around like that is amazing. But there they are, right? So a cop sees them and he calls the DOT. DOT comes with their bucket truck. They lower down and the little white goat is happy to take the help and be lifted up, up to safety. The little brown goat, on the other hand, he says no. I don't want to get in there. I don't want anything to do with it. And it even talks about it in here. The, the other one was a little less congenial. 
he had to end up walking off of it. It's funny. Yeah, I'll link it, but this is just weird. Two goats. One takes help and gets lifted up. The other one says, Nah, I think I'll just keep walking the edge. You know, I got this. I can do it. I'm the captain of my destiny. That's what the world thinks, man. Anyway, I thought that was really worth sharing. And it was funny, too, that the guy says, Oh, the whole operation took between 60 and 90 minutes. And I've never seen him announce that. And it just happens to be 69. The goats are okay now, though. I suppose, she said. Who knows what happened to them? Well, it's the world. That's what happened to them. Take the help. Be lifted up. Seek Jesus. That's what this is saying. This one, on the other hand, has a little more of a serious note to it. I thought that was worthy of showing to you all. I pray that you're all having a wonderful evening. Peace and grace to each one of you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 